That's right. Will not sit around and have a word in my spirit and not give it. So God, if you're going to heal me, you're not going to heal me in my bed. You're going to heal me doing what I do. Because this is all I know how to do. Look at some of my young people, and it just drives me. It drives me into another mindset because I can't believe that one church could have these many gifted young folks, and they really don't understand where their gift comes from. Not just the young people. We've got so many gifts in this church. Period. Adults can't get along with each other. Don't wish behind each other's back. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. You glory in another man's fall. Jesus. Preach, Preach. Bishop. Preach. Bishop. Preach. This son has been with me ever since he was a kid. He's been one of my armor bearers ever since I started. He's been waiting on me and serving me as a son. Here comes somebody else who hasn't been here as long as him. But he brings to the table another anointing. If this anointing pushed me to this point, then maybe this anointing carried me to the next But if you stop here from doing what he's been called to do, You'll keep me stuck where you are. But I need fresh blood. Because fresh blood brings new energy. And when I'm tired and frustrated, fresh blood don't see it like he sees it. He feels sorry for me, but flesh blood says, we got to keep going. If you don't have to shake, lean on me. I have the choice. We are one body. We are one body with different units. You can't fight with him because you are good at what you do. But he has another anointing to take me somewhere. And if you keep holding on to me while I'm holding on to him, we can keep going. Because together we stand. But divided, we will. It's called recycling. It's called evolving. I'm going to still need you. Because you know too much about me. You know when to pray. You know when to hold me up. You know when to sit me down. But I need this energy that is in him. Because I can't always stay here. I got to go somewhere else. So how come we can't accept that in the church? You might have said I acted out. You acted out, I built the set. You built the set, I play the organ. You play the organ, I beat the drums. You beat the drum, I write the music. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that this word will go into the ears of these people and penetrate into their souls and to their spirits. I pray, God, that their lives will change. I pray, God, for a new development of relationships. In the name of Jesus. I pray for power and differences. That just because we're different, it don't mean that we don't have a job in ministry to do together. I pray God for a complete turnaround. I 
pray for increase. I pray for overflow. And as the hands is lifted up in this place, God, I pray that you will touch their lips. You will touch the eyes. You will touch the ears. You will touch their hands. I pray that you will wrap, wrap your loving arms around them. I pray that when you wrap your loving arms around them, you would whisper in their ear their purpose and their anointing. Do it, God. Let us be helpless to one another. Let us be helpless to one another. That as we help each other, we will build the kingdom for your glory. 